It's the next day. Yesterday I forgot to vlog, or both of us forgot to go vlog. Both of us forgot to vlog, anything else? Why when I start vlogging do you always join me? I want to vlog solo. Oh, I was just gonna say, it doesn't matter because like they don't know it's a new day. Well they do because I look different. No, I'm leaving for Venice today and I'm very nervous. I did yoga this morning and Alex and I went on a nice long walk. But I just have that, I, I don't know that I like going on a flight later in the day because all I do is anticipate the fact that I'm flying. And what it means is I procrastinate with packing, whereas I, if I was flying this morning, I would have packed last night and just done it really fast. I just spent like an hour packing really slowly and trying on outfits and stuff. Um, and I have like an anxious belly now and I need, keep on needing to wee and go to the toilet and I just feel, bleh. and I have a video, like a sponsored video that I need to finish off before I leave to send off to Squarespace. So I've got to do that and I just, I suppose I'm just gonna focus on that now so I don't get nervous. It's cause I just despise flying with a passion, like to the point that I had such a phobia when I was little that I refused to get on a plane. And I know it was such an inconvenience to my parents, but I think I maybe watched a movie or I just developed this irrational fear of flying and then refused to go on any plane when I was a teenager. So we would always only go to France on a ferry and I feel bad because I stopped us from going anywhere else but when I got older I think when I got to like 14 15 I sucked it up and realized I can't do this I have to just deal with the fear and I thought oh, I'll get better over time no I still find it just as scary every single time and it's still just as bad and actually the more I fly I think that I need to like space my flights out to not get scared because when I, fly, when I fly frequently, I remember the previous flight and that freaks me out. So, cause we just flew, we've done a lot of flying recently. So we went to Porto and then we went to Mallorca. Now I'm going to Venice. It's all in a short space of time. And that kind of stresses me out a bit. I wish I had more time in between getting back from Mallorca and then going to Venice, but that's just how it all worked out. I just get stressed it really. And also this is my first time in my life flying by myself, which I know it won't be that different because it's only a two hour flight, so it's not like the end of the world. And I'm going to Venice, so I can't complain. That's what I've got to focus on. I'm going to Venice with a load of really lovely girls and we all live all over the world, so we couldn't see each other otherwise. So I need to just think about that and forget about it and just read my book and not, not get worried. I'm very excited. And Alex is driving me to the airport and picking me up, so that makes me feel better too. Aren't you, Alex? Am I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I booked you a taxi. <laughs> no, he didn't. I'm gonna get on with my work now and um, get this video finished. It's like I've got to do like the um, voiceover for it. So I'm gonna get on with that now and that should occupy my time between now and when we have to leave. So we, don't have, to, we have to leave at like four-ish. Luckily, Brighton is so close to Gatwick it only takes like 30, 45 minutes to get there. So that's great. I don't have to like faff with that. Breathe. I feel like this video is just entirely me getting packages, but this company Organic Basics got in touch with me and this is not sponsored. They're not paying me to say this at all. They just sent me this, these products. And yeah, this thing's recycled. So cool. But they're a really cool company because everything's organic and um, sustainable. So yeah, I think I got one thing for you as well, Alex. Mm. So it's just underwear, which I really needed actually because if you've seen my why I don't wear bra or why I don't wear underwear video, I don't typically wear mm. underwear, but I needed some like, um, some basic stuff to wear under certain clothes, like nude underwear, because I have some clothes where- It's just granny ooh, pants you've got. They're really soft. So yeah, I needed some, and this is a bit weird showing underwear, but um, I just needed some because when you're wearing a dress or like a white piece of clothing, you need like something underneath that's not black. And I wore um, my black underwear with a dress I got recently in Mallorca and all the vid fo video footage, you can kind of see my underwear in it because it's that type of material in like bright sunlight, it's very slightly see-through. So this th sort of thing comes in handy. It's really soft and it looks like it's kind of like seamless. I like how it's all packaged, that's really cute. Ooh. Also on the website, which is cool, is they don't have an overwhelming amount of product. So it's not like you feel like, oh gosh, there's so much for me to look at. <gasps> oh, this is lovely. This looks really comfortable. I wonder what size, what size did I get? Medium. So I told them that I was a size UK 10. They sent me medium. This looks a little big. That's what I worry about. We'll see, I'll try it on, hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, I guess I can just swap. And then this is, I think it sent me a t-shirt and you a t-shirt. So maybe the, oh, look, the women's comes in pink and the men's comes in cardboard. Oh, 
So Alex got himself a plain black t-shirt. Wait, did I ask for a white one? I thought you did. I did. Because I have, a, I already have a plain black t-shirt. Oh well, I mean it's still nicer than yeah, isn't yeah. it? They must have run out of medium and white. It's nicer than my other one. Yeah, and it's nice to have, your other one's really old. Hmm. Um, it's nice to have a plain t-shirt because Alex, as you know, he has lots of very colourful t-shirts so you can never Don't you on. start. What? I'm never getting rid of my colourful t-shirts. It's really, the, the material is really soft, feels really nice quality. Yeah. And then I think I got myself... I'm forward to my white one. I think I got oh, myself no. a plain white one, hopefully. Oh no, they sent me it's black ones. Did I ask for black? Oh, no. I don't even know. I think maybe I asked for black. You're an idiot. No, for myself. Oh. And then a, white, a black for you. Uh, no a white. white for you. So we can match. I don't have a plain black t-shirt, so perfect. And. I have, I just recently got a white t-shirt and a grey t-shirt from uh, uh, that shop, Emi Loma. Emi Loa. Emi Loa. And it's a cute little shop in Brighton and um, she, the woman in there, she designed them and then she makes them in Bali and she used to live in Bali. I got loads of cute stuff from there. I got a white t-shirt and a grey t-shirt, so I thought I should get a black t-shirt. Different style, totally, like this is like a plain style, but let me tie it on over this. See the feeling of it. Oh, it's very soft. Perfect. I mean, I'm, I'm wearing a top underneath it, so ignore that. But it's cute to wear like underneath things as a plain basic. <laughs> I'm gonna go try this underwear on and not show you. <laughs> See if it fits. <laughs> oh, why are you following me? Get off. Oh, shut up. So just tried the underwear on, it's perfect, really comfortable. Uh, maybe one of the comfiest thongs I've ever worn because sometimes they can really like not be comfortable. And the bra was really cute and really soft. Everything's very, I feel like it's all practical and really the sort of thing that would be really comfortable which is exactly the type of underwear I like. I don't like underwear that digs in or makes me feel uncomfortable. That's why I don't wear most underwear. So this, that when I do wear it for, you know, practicality reasons, it's gotta be comfortable, so. Love that, I'm gonna take it on um, this trip with me. It's perfect timing. And um, yeah, so I think that maybe they offered a discount code, so I'll link that below if they have. And so just go check them out if you're after some basics and then you can make sure that they are organic and they're sustainable and ethical because that can be tricky sometimes when it comes to buying basic clothes. So go check them out and I'm gonna get on with doing my edit and my video. So everything's packed, this is mine, this is Alex's. Got my handbag, not taking kitty. And I'm just waiting on my hard drives because I'm backing up my files. And it says it's gonna take another 40 minutes, even though I'm supposed to leave in half an hour. We can leave a little bit late. We were kind of giving ourselves a lot of extra time leaving at four. I really have not enjoyed waiting all day. I've got work done and it has been like a day, a good day to like get all my work done that I needed to do, but I really not enjoyed having to sit around while thinking about flying later. And I don't really like taking evening flights. I know something about flying in the dark or like taking off when it's light and landing when it's dark scares me. That's really stupid. I'm gonna stop talking about it. <laughs> so we're in the car. We're a bit late. It's 20 past four, we're supposed to leave at four, but the as you heard earlier. It started raining and it smells so nice. I was oh. saying to Alex, it reminds me of Chiang Mai because it's hot, but it's raining and that's what Chiang Mai was always like because it was always hot and it was always raining. I genuinely can't remember the last time it rained here. No, I like can't. The, the grass is like brown. Yeah, it's everywhere, weird. Everywhere in the city. All the grass has gone brown, which is, yeah. it kind of makes you realize the reason that England is so lush is because of how much it rains. Yeah. So you kind of got to appreciate the fact that you can't moan that England's like, rainy but because it actually makes the countryside so beautiful and so yeah. different to so many other countries i think we're like accustomed and acclimatized to rain so like if, mm. if we go a month without rain That's we weird. start to moan and complain and there's we do. news articles like heat wave everyone, when will it rain everyone's freaking out about the heat we're not actually in the the terrible area of heat though because we're not in london if you're by the sea it's never as bad it's like been 24 25 which is actually like the nicest temperature whereas in london yeah. it's been like 32 which in a city like London that's that smoggy and that polluted, not nice. No. Not funny, you have to get a tube. Ooh. There was a good tweet doing the rounds. It said, I opened my cupboard door yesterday and saw my jumpers in there and they felt like a relic from a bygone era because I haven't worn them in so long. Even though three months ago, it was like Snowing. the coldest winter we've had in yeah. a while. 
Also, uh, a lot of people maybe don't understand because I, you know, you have people saying, oh, it's not even, that's not even that hot. We have 30 degrees all the time here. In the UK, uh, we don't really have aircon like you do in other places because we're not used to the heat. L most places don't have aircon unless it's like a shopping mall. And even then they don't often have aircon. Like generally speaking, when you go into a shop or in a home, no, no one's home no. has aircon, nobody's. No. Nobody's home has a fan. Um, and very, very occasionally and very, very rarely will a shop have aircon. Like Tesco, like supermarkets will. Yeah, they'll be but like, they, but they have a thing that heats and yeah. aircon. Yeah. So like, it's just, you can't escape the heat. Anyway, the rant is over. Um, I didn't think about traffic. Well, it's telling me it's taken into account the traffic for the time. So we'll get there at five. You have your boarding pass, you have no bags to check in. Okay. We've done this so many times. To be fair, every time we do this, we always get this so early, don't yeah, we? Yeah, and we sit there for half an hour, like... I need to grab something deep. I can easily run into Pret and grab something super, super yeah. fast, so... Anyway, come here. I'm about to get on a plane is this amount of rain that stresses me out and scares me. But think about how much rain the UK gets every year and how many flights take off every day. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye. Yeah. Get nice shots of the luxury airline you're traveling on. It's not a luxury airline.